Indian cuisine has a variety of food. Each state have different flavors and different style of cooking. Hello and welcome to Sanjeev Kapoor Khazana. My name is Afraz and today I'm going to show you a very special recipe from the land of Rajasthan. Yes, I'm going to teach you how to make lal mash. Let's have a quick view on ingredients to make lal mash I would require. Mutton on bone cut into 1 inch pieces. Onions, dried Kashmiri red chilies, soaked, ghee or clarified butter, yogurt, bay leaf, cumin powder, black cardamom, garam masala powder, green cardamom, cinnamon stick, cloves, coriander powder, turmeric powder, ginger garlic paste, salt, fresh coriander chopped. So let's quickly start making a lal mash. First I'm going to grind the soaked red chilies. These are Kashmiri red chilies which gives the red color to this curry. So let's grind this. You need to soak them in warm water so that they become nice and soft and they are easy to blend. With the chilies, I'm going to add little water and then I'm going to grind this into a fine paste. So now as you can see, it has ground to a fine paste. So now our paste is ready. Let's marinate the mutton. So in a large bowl to which I'm going to add yogurt. With the yogurt, I'm going to add some dried masala, cumin powder, some coriander powder, turmeric powder, salt, some ginger garlic paste, and the red chili paste, from which we will get that lovely color. Now I'm going to mix all this together nicely, so that the mutton pieces are nicely coated with the marinade. Now after mixing all this together nicely, I'm going to let this marinate for around an hour in the refrigerator. So now I'm going to proceed with the gravy. So let's finely chop some onion. The base of Indian gravies are always with onion. And if you're cooking mutton, the onion needs to be a little more in quantity. So after chopping the onion, I'm going to heat up a pressure cooker in which I'm going to add ghee. And once the ghee is nice and hot, I'm going to add some whole spices, one black cardamom, cinnamon stick, few green cardamom, cloves, and one bay leaf. Roast the spices on medium to low heat, and once you get that nice aroma, I'm going to add the chopped onion. And now I'm going to saute the onion till they are nice and golden brown. Now as you can see, the onion have got nice golden brown color. At this stage, I'm going to add fresh ginger garlic paste. Saute the ginger garlic paste nicely and then I'm going to add the marinated mutton to it. So now let's add the marinated mutton. So now I'm going to saute this on high heat for around 2 to 3 minutes. So now after sauteing it on high heat for 2 to 3 minutes, I'm going to add a little water to the bowl. Take all the leftover marination and add this in. Now I'm going to lower the flame and saute this till the masala is cooked. So now as you can see it has nicely sauteed and the masala is cooked. So now I'm going to add sufficient water. Give this a mix. Now I'm going to add salt. Give this a stir. And now I'm going to wait till it comes to a boil. So now it has come to a boil. I'm going to lower the flame. Cover this. And now I'm going to let this cook under pressure for around 7 to 8 whistles. So now after 7 to 8 whistles, I'm going to shut the gas. So now we'll wait till the pressure is released. In the meantime, over here I've kept a coal on fire as I want to give that smoke flavor to that curry. So now let's check the mutton. As you can see, the mutton is nicely cooked and the gravy has got a lovely red color. 
Now I'm going to take a steel bowl, place it right in the center, and put this hot coal over it. Then quickly I'm going to add some cloves and pour some ghee over it. And cover this and let it get infused with the smoky flavor for around 2 minutes. Still you can see the smoke coming out and now I'm going to take out this bowl. Again put this back on heat. Finally I'm going to add some garam masala powder. Give this a last stir. And the lal mash is ready to serve. So now quickly I'm going to take this into a serving bowl. And now I'm going to garnish it with some fresh coriander sprig and a lemon wedge. So here it is, a very sumptuous and mouth-watering lal mas is ready. If you like the videos that we share on YouTube, do subscribe to us on our YouTube channel.